Hey guys, it's the Fact Freak. And what are we doing today? Well, Sobriety Jack lives in denial. We all know that. He seems to think people want him on this app. But really all people want him on this app for is because he's a train wreck. And people want to see the drama and they want to see him unravel. However, his comment section on his videos is crazy. People trying to reach out, people trying to tell him their opinion. And Jack ignores them. But we're not going to ignore them today. We're going to look at some of these comments and we're going to talk about them. So let's get on with it. Now this first comment I found really interesting. You're not a global icon, you're known on TikTok for being a lying, begging David wannabe who is mocking people who are actually in recovery. You're a joke. Let's see if there's any weight behind this comment. So of course we know Sobriety Jack thinks he's a global icon. But when I searched his name, Jack Johnson, it didn't look like Sobriety Jack. And I went through till I got to like page 10 on Google and just gave up. However, when you search exactly what this commenter said, David Beckham wannabe, there you have it. <laughs> he is a global icon as being a David Beckham wannabe, just like this guy said. Now, what about for being a beggar or a scammer or a fraud? Well, we went over to TikTok for this one and searched up some Riot Jack. How surprising that the first six videos is all people calling Jack out for scamming people, uh, getting rid of people because they're getting more gifts than him and he's live, messages to Jack to tell him to stop the way he's going on. So I'm going to tell you this commenter, Gems, you were spot on. Let's go to the next comment. Now this comment, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's not a joke about relapsing. They're disgusting how you behave. Addiction is hard and you make fun out of it. There is real people out there who are trying. Now I'm going to tell you guys a uh, trigger warning um, for the next clip I'm going to play. As a little pre-warning, this is Jack taking the mick uh, out of relapsing uh, while using hashtags that will reach the sobriety side of TikTok, including people who are struggling with addictions and relapse. Now I've decided not to include the video. However, for those of you who have seen it, it starts with Jack going, oh, putting on emotions, saying I've relapsed, to then say it's a joke. I just want to read something instead um, from the NHS and sort of like steps, possible triggers and things to avoid. People or places connected to the addictive behaviour. People who have participated in your addictive behaviour are potential triggers for relapse, regardless of whether or not they're still drinking, smoking or using drugs. Likewise, certain places that remind you of your addiction can be triggering for you. People who unnecessarily mention, joke and make light of your addiction can be a major trigger. In most top 10 lists of things that can cause a trigger and a relapse, reminiscing about or glamorising past drug use, relapse is a process. If you find yourself reminiscing about times when you used to drink or you use in a way that overlooks the pain and suffering your addiction caused, this is a major red flag. Reminiscing can lead to your addictive brain taking over again. It's with statements like this. Is it really in Jack's best interest to be joking about a relapse? Is it in his followers' best interest to be joking about relapse? Is it in the best interests of people on the same side of TikTok as Jack? No, it isn't. So once again, 
Beck, who put that comment on there, you are bang on. Now here's another comment on one of Jack's videos that he's ignored. Jack, if you are genuine and you want it, you need to contact your GP and recovery team in your area to get the right support. Now on this one, Jack, I had to do a bit of research. Obviously, there was no point in putting Jack Johnson, where's he from? So we went back to what you're known as as a global icon, which is the David Beckham thing. So when I searched that up, obviously, most of your interviews uh, were in Nottinghamshire and in Nottingham. So I believe that may be the area that you're from. So what I did was I just had a little look around. We had a look at rehabs. Obviously, some of them are quite expensive. And I had a look at free rehabs. Now, I spoke to two of these people on the phone. And they will literally, they will do Zoom calls. They'll do telephone calls. There's group sessions available. There's all sorts. Now, wouldn't it be great to get yourself into one of them and to actually update your followers and talk them through that journey rather than dancing every day in your back garden and saying this is what being sober looks like? I mean, you go on live and you say, I need a lion, I need a lion. You want to be a moderator, I need a lion. You don't do anything on your live to promote your mental health or your sobriety or anything like that. You spend most of the time telling people that you're going to get high. So, like... Surely, is this comment that says, if you need the help, if you genuinely need the help, it is so easy. And all of these rehabs and all of these offers, you could go on Monday. They told me you could attend on Monday and they are free. You don't need to be begging people for gifts to go or to take the first step. So once again, this commenter, absolutely bang on. Now we've had a look at some of the comments on Sobriety Jack's videos that he shouldn't ignore and brought them to his attention, because let's face it, he's going to watch it. Uh, let's react to some recent Sobriety Jack videos. Oh no. So by now you know the crack. What we're going to do is we're going to pop over onto TikTok. I'm going to search up... Sobriety. Oh. I'm going to search up Sobriety Jack and we're going to have a look at the top videos for Jack they've changed since the last time I was on obviously um, there's a new one here the truth about Sobriety Jack watch till the end ok let's see <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but I'm sure I've been told about him. Dave, somebody who's given him a sort of reality check. Oh, oh mate, listen, you're on 11,000 something, you know. Yeah, but no, I give that away. That's, I don't, that, that school goes to different, different, different charities, so that, you know. Cool. Big up Biker Prince, big up Sarah. Um, yeah, he's getting absolutely beaten. Jack does not like getting beaten in these little gifty games. Have you just called me babe? I call everyone babe. So, so, do you... So you, someone's going to send you a hot tub? Well, yeah, it probably, it's probably Joe Lanford's best art. It'll probably be who? Jodie Lanford. Honestly, I need to do a TikTok video um, tagging Warburton's or something like that, like we've done with other videos before, and get an answer. Because I think that's a lot of bullshit. Mm. Can't wait to be chewing in my lazy spine, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just worried about electricity because people have been telling me it's like £20 a day with electricity staff and everything's gone up. I always feel like it's like a beg, like he's, he thinks he's very smart, to mention that he's getting a hot tub, but he might struggle with electricity. So he's wanting people to have that consciously in their mind. Oh, I could help Jack with some electricity. He doesn't need a fucking hot tub, does he? So... Oh, I'm rooting, darling. Jesus. I'm a bit... Uh, thanks for them gifts, guys. They're going to be amazing to charities. That's, that's, that's amazing. Um, right, that's what I'm going to move on after this, my brother, because I'm not... 
like I'm a bit. I don't know what's going on here, it's frozen. I don't really know what's going on right there, guys. That is absolute... Oh, did he kick him? He kicks people all the time. He's so fucking rude. Absolutely fucking dumb, my nor. Um, thanks for them. Uh, the new people, you know. They'll be going to great causes, but um, I'm really baffled right now. People tell them he did a poo live. Let's move on. Sobriety Jack falls off the wagon. What a surprise. This is a week ago. Uh, shouldn't be on holiday. What a minute. I mean, I think you guys even heard that sniffing from here, right? <sighs> I don't understand, like, if he, if he is actually taking drugs, why, like, why are the police, like, we knew where he was, he was in Skeggy or whatever, in some caravan park, somebody should have just called the police and handed this over as evidence. I got so rare. Imagine being somebody who gifts him as well, and that's what he does. My people is sobriety jack, if anybody wants to donate because my family's took off my cards because of my mental health. Family's so if you want to donate to my bed, I'll feel free. Jesus Christ. What an absolute... Like, I don't know why. Like, everybody can do what everybody wants to do. That's fine. I can't stop them. Nobody can. But imagine thinking, here's a guy struggling. I'll give him a little bit of money. And then you check on him... Six days later, and he's doing lines of drugs on live. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm just making out I've got an addiction uh, just to get TikTok fame and make money through TikTok. I'm not being funny. Like, if you Google my name and look at pictures from me, from that. I'm not being funny, but this is clearly doctored, right? So it says Sobriety Jack admits he's not an addict and that he cuts off a girl because he got a gift. Now, what they've done here is if you listen, Oh, I'm just making out I've got an addiction uh, just to get TikTok fame and make money. And that's supposed to be proof. I've been tagged in this video loads. That isn't proof. You can tell he's being sarcastic and responding to something somebody said. Um, however, he does skip her at the end, I think, because she gets gifts sent to her more than he does, which is ridiculous. Money for TikTok. Uh, this is a message for Sobriety Jack. I think we've listened to a few of this. Um, let's see what helps. So what I was going to talk about was how you rob people and how you're taking people for a mug. But I think I need to talk about the fact that you're... I love these guys, right? Because there's, there's like a range of guys on TikTok who do videos where they jump in their car... And they have the same dramatic music on. And they, honestly, they hit the rhythm of it with everything. But anyway, sorry, no hate to this guy. Just... Oh, man, that needs help. You have these mental health conditions and you're also an alcoholic. It's not good that you say that you're going to go to rehab and then you're not going to go to rehab because you're going to go on holiday and you're getting all these donations and gifts. And not... Well, this is true. This is all factual thing but this guy how many tags has this guy got in the video maybe this is what I need to do he's tagged support in support help kindness matters king of kindness mental health matters mental health awareness inspire helping others supporting others young blood rap young blood rap 66 supporters evil queen evil queen chelsea chelsea hartwood beauty beyond the eye and sobriety jack like, are those just trending hashtags? I, I don't know. Somebody teach me TikTok. Right, well, this guy's saying a lot of what we all know, but uh, he's coming from a good place. And fair play, a lot of people have seen this video, and that's good. I've seen, dealt, and worked with some of the biggest addicts in England, and I've been to a rehab centre. And let me tell you something now, you are pulling the pants down of those addicts and smacking their arse in front of every cunt on this app. Wow. I get it. 
Addiction is a huge scale, a bit like autism. Everyone's affected differently. That's talking some sense. But when you break your sobriety and you cheer at it and it doesn't affect you, it suggests otherwise. It suggests that you... Yeah, actually, I totally agree with that. I've never thought about that before. Like, if you're trying to get over an addiction so much, you wouldn't be, like... You'd be happy about the fact you've relapsed. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Not really taking it seriously, and it never really did have an impact on your life as much as you say you did. But that's what TikTok's about. People lie to get their way up the leaderboard, it's to right. get the gifts, to get the wish list. You're playing the game, and everyone's falling for it. So well done. <laughs> He's right. He's fucking totally right. That's why I do these videos. I, I don't want to give these people airtime, but I want to make people aware. Don't fucking gift this guy. He's a fraud. It's an absolute fraud. On my paper. Well, the next video just happens to be scammer fraud. Oh, I am sobriety of the block. Give us one grand and I'll follow you back. One thousand pounds for him to follow you back. You're fucking for real. Like, I don't follow as many people that follow me right, on TikTok. Um, I don't usually scroll through it that much. I like, and I do follow people that I like, but I would never, ever have the cheek to even say fucking, I don't know, donate to my Patreon and I'll follow you back, which, by the way, is £2. <laughs> Big fucking difference to this, but I would never even have the cheek to say that. That's absolutely ridiculous. He's fucking laughing and all. What twat? You are a twat. I don't often what like... What twat? You know what I mean? I don't often, like, say things like that, but... Honestly, he's acting like a twat. Lies and deceptions, fake... And then this is a video um, about him being on this morning. Um, you know, with about his fucking plastic surgery and shit. Obviously a failed job. Oh, Tommy, stay on this! Thank you. Oh my God. Like, guys, I'm not. Somebody's typing out. I've recorded most of this video and proof on my page. Bro, I'm like, come on, like, my loyal I people will who come not right. Stop. Are my wrong for putting an octopus on my wish list? Showing the real. People you. are not moaning at me if I'm receiving a universal well, I earn. You know what I mean? But why should I let. What the fuck's he? How much? I don't even know how much. I know a universe is a lot of money. I don't think people should be able to send a universe anyway. It's too fucking much. Yeah, my gift is, why should I let my loyal supporters pay £300 for a lion and I am only going to receive £95 of the £300 gift my gift has paid for? Like, it's not even fucking half of it. So, you know Jesus what I mean? It's not even right. Christ. And then he does a fucking line. Thanks. Honestly, fucking hell. Do not gift this guy, please. Um, please don't. Right, guys. That was the end of today's video on Sobriety Jack there. Um, don't forget we will have Deep Dive Part 2 coming out on the man. If you have any information you want to share with me, my Instagram is The Fact Freak, And uh, you can find my Patreon link there if you want to support the channel. Peace.